Okay, um, I'm, to my, I'm not the expert on the topic actually, I'm only moderating the discussion. Uh, maybe Sebastian can answer the question to those specific um, organizations. <laughs> but in general, the way MST acts or uh, works is that we're addressing states because states are responsible for law enforcement. Um, because usually the state, the government, is the force or the party in the state which is allowed to use force in order to enforce rights. Of course, we're blaming non-governmental actors, but the consequences um, we can conclude, or what the thing we're doing is addressing the state to um, make the country safe and to stop non-governmental actors from violating human rights. So basically, um, what we could do in such cases is um, send appeals to governments to ask them and to demand from them that they are stopping those organizations. But not by, by letting people disappear and torture them, but by sending them um, to courts, giving just trials, and yeah, in accordance, accordance with human rights, of course. But of course, people who are violating human rights, no matter which side, have to be tried and sentenced according to human rights. Yes. One more question? Uh, so I just want to make a statement like, uh, I know that people are getting that they disappear, but the matter is that the, uh, the intelligence agencies or the life enforcement agencies, they, are, they only uh, like interrogate those people who have links, who have pro proved links with terrorist organizations, who are shooting the army personnel, who are killing innocent people. For example, there is a there is a CPEC project going on right now in Pakistan and these terrorist organizations, so called separatist organizations, they are actively trying their level best to, to, to somehow uh, fail this project. So, what I'm trying to say is that the, the, those missing instances, they are definitely the intelligence are interrogating them. That's why they are they're missing. And they're, as you said, I don't think that everyone is a uh, in every home there is someone missing. There are a number of friends that got from Glochistan and they are really patriotic and they don't say anything like that. I mean, it's a false statement that, that in every home someone is missing. It's really false statement. Only some people who are supporting the service organization, some of they are being interrogated and that's a matter. <laughs> okay, thank you. I think we got your point. So basically you're saying that the uh, Police, secret police is still right because they're only interrogating exactly. suspicious people. But the problem is that the state defines who is suspicious and only because somebody has is supposed or thought to have connections to terrorist organizations doesn't justify torturing people. Because even criminals have human rights and you cannot violate their right um, for being unharmed physically but also mentally. And the state is the actor which has, is responsible to ensure that people are not harmed. And it has to be according to international law and according to human rights if they're interrogating people. It does not include torture and it is a fact that people are tortured. Bodies have been found with uh, traces of torture, for instance, as was said earlier by our other MST representative. Um, I cannot answer to the thing you said with that in basically every household one person is missing. Maybe one of you can answer it briefly. Um.